All right, now let's go over how you can use the CACFP recipes. So if you look up here in the top section of the educator portal, over here under tools, you will see CACFP recipes. We're gonna click inside of here. And so inside of here, you can see we have a few different options. If you, this is the main part we wanna focus on. We have a breakfast, we have lunch slash dinner, and we have snack. And so depending on what kind of meal you're looking for, you can click on which one you would like, or you can click all recipes and it'll show you every recipe there is for all three categories. So let's say for now, um, we just want to find a breakfast. So let's click breakfast. And so here we're like, oh, this is nice recipes. So let's pick pumpkin pear muffins. So we'll click this. So inside of here, as you can see, um, it shows you the picture of the recipe, the description, even like the prep time, the cook time, and the meal type. And then right here, one, one thing I want to uh, notice here is under ingredients, you can see all the different ingredients that there are, but then right here under servings, let's say right, right now it's for 50 servings. Let's say you wanna do it for 12 servings. So right here you can click this and watch what happens to the ingredients. It will automatically change the amount of ingredients you need for each thing. So it's a very helpful tool for you to be able to know exactly how much you need to make this. And so if you scroll down a little bit here, you have some more information. You also have the directions on exactly what to do. And then under here, you can also comment. We would love to hear your comments about how you like each recipe. So feel free to leave them in there. And so this is how you can find a recipe and use it. Now, let's say this is something that your kids really like and you decide, okay, yeah, we want to keep coming back to this. So what you can, thing you can do is right here, the top left corner right here, there is add cookbook. So if you click this, what happens is this adds it to your own personal cookbook that you have inside the educator portal. So if you want to look at it right here, there's view cookbook. So you can click here. As you can see right here, you can see stuff inside your cookbook and you can see where it was recently added. And so also, as so you can see here, this is watermelon melon fries. This is a snack. And uh, this is something that I added earlier. And so it just keeps a collection of all the stuff that you like inside of the uh, cookbook that you can add. And so another way you can access as well is if you were to go back to this domain menu of CACFP recipes right here under cookbook, you can click here and you can access all your stuff here as well. This is the basics of how to use the CACFP recipes and uh, really hope you guys like it and let us know if um, there's anything else we can do.